Good morning, my beautiful people. So we are going to hang out today. I'm gonna go to the gym and then we are going to try and put this navy in, okay? But there's a lot of fucking people here and I usually come at like four o'clock in the morning instead of six and usually I'm like there by myself for at least 20 minutes, but there's a lot of people here today. So let's go. <sighs> So today I am trying to install the the new Navi and all of the labels that are on this panel board are wrong. So the main navigation switch only runs the compass that's outside and these two run this depth sonar and this this tells you like your longitude and latitude. So that's pretty nice. I should be able to just hook up the new Navi to whatever is already out there so that it can read on the inside and on the outside. And I'm trying to find somebody that can put this transducer, which is just a, it's like a depth sonar. So it goes on the bottom of your boat and it tells you the depth of the water so that you're not running aground. Basically just helps you navigate properly and the best outcome is when they are secured on the outside bottom of your boat. So there's people that are able to do it in the water. Typically you want to do it on the out, like when you pull your boat out, but I hadn't bought this Navi yet. So I'm going to try and figure out, find somebody that, to do that because I don't have the tools to do that. But I think I have somebody that will be able to put that in for me and uh, we'll go from there. My nose is so fucking dry still. And my back, look at this. I'm peeling so bad. <laughs> but, um, let's get to it. I swear, if it's not Publix, it's fucking Home Depot. They own me. So, this compass, it works. It just is some sun damaged. So we're gonna take it off, clean it, and see if that will, um, get rid of some of that damage. So that's, there's a lot. And all of that should be able to be pulled out of the, the main thing. I like keep getting light. But now we can nap, now we can wire this together and pull all the dead wires out of there because in there is not going to be working we're just going to be able to flip the navy and turn this on that's fun this should work mmm <laughs> look at that it may need to update because it's been in the box for a while but it just feels nice to do something that, like, is actually gonna fucking work. Yo, so I majorly suck at vlogging, and I don't understand why. I think it's because, like, I get in the mode, and then I'm like, I should be recording this, but then I don't, and then... I don't know. But I kind of wanted to share a story with you guys that I'm probably gonna talk about on a live later. But, um... For my senior project, I... I was going to rebuild an engine and it was going to be my first car. This guy that was helping me was going to be my mentor and um, teach me how to rebuild an engine, put a new head gasket on, that way I could have a car. And that was going to be my senior project. And I did the whole project. All I needed to do was like change a crankshaft sensor and something else but I took apart a, an engine a head gasket not knowing how to do anything that guy didn't really help me at all so I took it apart cleaned it put it back together 
and then um, something had happened where I wasn't able to get the car after I fixed it and um, sorry there's mosquitoes everywhere but um, I ended up having to change my senior project like less than like two months before it was due so I had to I had like paperwork presentations like like pictures and proof that I was doing these things I had to redo all of it and start new with like a new mentor a new project because I wasn't going to be able to like showcase my project because I didn't have it anymore I had said fuck it I bought a piece of shit Chevy Cavalier that was like overheating it was disgustingly blue and I had previously bought two 12s to put in the back of the car that I was originally going to have. So instead of putting it in that car, I put it in my Chevy Cavalier that I bought for like a thousand bucks. And that ended up being my senior project. I put in a new radio and a new stereo system, subs, amp, like, and that wasn't the original project that I wanted to do. So like, my presentation was boring and I got, I got like, I got an A from everyone else except for one teacher. And she was, she didn't like me for, well, she didn't like me because I ditched her class all the time. And it was right when like the computers and Chromebooks and shit came out. So like, I would just do all of my assignments online and send it to her when I wasn't even in class. So that's why she didn't like me. But when I did my project, she told me that it was boring and pointless. And the majority of that project was like wiring. And I was like, well, I guess that was pointless. But like now that I'm 25, like that's probably the only thing that I've actually used since I've gotten out of high school. And if I would have listened to her about it being pointless and boring, I think that like I wouldn't have had the confidence to be able to like wire my gauges, wire new navigation systems. Like don't let people with bad attitudes or not the same goals as you dictate the way that you view what you're doing. And I think that's like mainly what I'm trying to say. But this video is to be continued. So I will be showing you guys uh, the new mounting that I'm putting on for the Navi and um, I bought some new gauges because the other ones were duds, so we're going to redo that. And um, hopefully we can start seeing some progress now. <laughs> I love you guys, and thank you for being here. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the, in the comments. If not, just do what all the professionals tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.